Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I'm going to be doing a scrape painting. I'm going to do a brushed background just to, so that when we do the scrape, anything that's in the background is going to come through. Uh, but it's also going to give it some uh, depth because the colors that I use uh, in the scrape won't be the same colors as the colors of the background. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply my three colors. We're going to be, for the background, I'll be just doing some uh, primary colors. Not sure if you can see the colors or not um, based on the light. So I'm going to go ahead and close, close this down a little bit. I'm trying to leave a gap so that I can breathe all these toxic fumes and not die. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. So if you can't see, it's a dark blue, a red, and a yellow. So you know what, there's still light coming in. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we're going to do, we're going to brush our background and we're just going to really simply just kind of um, cover the whole canvas. So we're going to do that. we pull the, these parts here, cover all of this. And again, this is really just for um, or if the, whenever the paint comes through for the scrape, um, there's probably going to be parts that it misses. So this is really just going to be for all of the, all of the ones that it misses, right? So I'll go ahead and mix these two colors. I'll bring some of it over here so that we've got a little bit of a different background here. And... Mix those in for that area, and then we'll pull the red out, and kind of bring that over here. I might need a little more red, I think, just to kind of cover this middle area. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do that. And actually, this red and blue, man, they, they don't look too bad together. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so then we'll start bringing this across. And we'll uh, start bringing it into... Oh, this canvas has a little bump in it. Oh, well. So we'll go ahead and start mixing those two bad boys. And then bring it over here. And because I had so much red on there, I think it's going to be mostly red, actually. More of an orange. But that's okay. We'll just kind of pull this out. And bring it through. And kind of fade those. that and there we go so um, actually to be honest <laughs> like if I wasn't doing a design I'd stop right there because the background actually looks pretty dope um, let me kind of walk along here it uh, I'm pretty impressed with this background already but the show must go on and we can't just leave it like that that's a little too basic for me so now we're going to go ahead and do our scrape and we're going to be using a trowel so i'm going to put the paint on the trowel and then we're just going to kind of scrape it along scrape it scrape it and do all the cool stuff so i think what i'll do is i'll probably start with a light blue here and so we're going to pop this open and I think I might have a lighter blue, actually. Um, I'm not 100% sure. But we'll go ahead and uh, pop that open. We'll, uh, stir some on there. And then once it's nice and stirred, we'll go ahead and put it on the scraper. So 
Play that on there. All right. And we will go ahead and go here. suction to the paint uh, to the to the canvas I'll pull some of this. a little I think I was probably using a little too much before so we'll do orange here and we'll just pull it through okay uh, looks like I used it all so we'll go ahead and put a little more on there some on here so I'll just go ahead and all right I'll do one more I think we'll go, we'll go up top here. All right, so now we'll use, let's use a red, which I got another red here that's pretty vibrant. It's almost out, so I'll switch to it. Yeah, there it is. And there's not much in there, but we'll go ahead and stir it anyway. I don't know if you can see it. So we'll go ahead and put them on our scraper here. Can you see the scraper? Yeah, you can. Perfect. Okay. So we'll go ahead and Here. 
if we can pull any excess paint out. So basically the, the problem that I'm having right now is the paint wants to cause this tool to suction to it. So it doesn't want it doesn't want to pull through it because it's it's sticking to the canvas. And I think I level that out. Okay, cool. Well, that kind of created a cool effect. Um, we'll go ahead and put some more on there. tilt it and really push it into the canvas as I pull it. So it feels like the best kind of uh, mount to push down on isn't necessarily all the way. So I like this kind of pattern that's forming here. Okay, I don't like that. So I'm just going to tilt it forward and then run it down. And then tilt it forward and run it down. Okay, so I like this, but uh, there's not enough variety of the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some yellow.
problem that I'm running into is I have too much paint. So it's starting to blur. I don't know if you can see that there's no distinct lines anymore. And this is a problem, obviously. So what I'm thinking about doing is running colors all the way down. Um, so different, so basically blue, yellow, orange, all those. Um, running them down the side and then scraping them down to make distinct colors, if that makes sense. So, uh, I don't know where my little popper thing went to open my can. time getting this red open okay so I got it open uh, get a stir stick and I'm thinking about adding white so I may be adding too much I mean honestly I don't know to be a hundred percent so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some white there I'm gonna add some there um, I'll probably do a little bit of blue over there, over there, and probably over there. A little orange here, and here, and here. I wish I had more of this red. And just a little bit. some of that down. There's like nothing left in there. Um, I guess I'll do this red here. I'm not a fan of it. Um, and a little bit of blue. So I'll do that, that, and that. Okay. So here we go. Um, So I'm only applying, I'm applying some pre, some pretty heavy pressure to it to pull this through because it's wanting to stop. So I'm going to pull this through. The paint keeps wanting to suction to the, uh, to the board that to happen so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down and that okay I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this so far uh, so we'll pull this down I need to tilt it so that the paint goes all the way through and it doesn't get caught if that makes sense. So I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to leave it. Um, I know it didn't reach all the way across, but okay. Okay. I, I like that. So I like that the white came through um, on that one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to pull it through on this one. I kind of got it, kind of. Okay. Um, a lot of mess here. I wonder if I can pull those edges. Kind of clean them. All right, so next is this one. All right, so I'm in. 
created some interesting colors there. Pull this one down, pull it through. I'm gonna stop, pull it through. I'm gonna go over this one again just to see if I can get the colors to pull through. Pretty good. Okay, so I want to be honest. I uh, I actually really like this painting. It's uh, it's very very vibrant, but also very broken up. I don't know how to explain it. It's probably one of the most interesting paintings I've ever done. To be a hundred percent honest with you, um, but I kind of dig it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so this is the final painting. Um, again, I know it's kind of hard to see what the colors in here are. I'll go ahead and open up. So that you can see the colors. There we go. It adjusted, so that's a little better. So, this is the final painting. Um, like I said, I, I don't know how much of me you can see. Um, honestly, I kind of like this painting. I, I don't know what to say. It turned out better than I thought it was going to. And so, yeah, I, um, I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, if you like this video, please like, rate, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another one. Take care.